since we want to play this game. Sir. Put your hands behind your back. This is my phone. Put Hello? it down. Can you tell me what's going on? Just put your hands behind your back before you end up on the ground. I'm trying to drop my phone. Hello? Are you telling me what this is about? You're being detained for a minute. You're matching the description of someone trying to break into people's cars. Um, I'm not breaking anyone's car. No! Welcome back to Weedy People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. This is the Paulding County uh, Sheriff's Office located in the state of Georgia. This video is brought to you by the YouTube channel Police Accountability. If you have not subscribed to their channel, please make sure you go and do so. Also, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button on this channel so you can be notified every time we drop a video. This video is simply just going to confirm what we already know but it's going to be a little bit graphic, so make sure you brace yourself. Let's check this out. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get your hands out of your pockets. Turn your hands back a bit. Excuse me. You're being detained, bud. Don't take your backpack off. Um, take your backpack off. Excuse me, what am I doing? Take your backpack off. Um, can you explain what this Before is Before you go on the ground, take your backpack off. I'm going, going to get picked up but, for work. But, come on. So, it's a natural response or a natural reaction to be confused if you're walking somewhere and the police officer turns on his blue lights, pulls over and states or says, hey, put your hands behind your back. You're going to be detained or you're going to go on the ground. So just pay attention to the utter confusion that this gentleman has as he's talking to this officer. But what I do want you to keep in mind as well, I said this in previous videos, that police believe whatever they state is law. I believe the same thing at one point. I had to educate myself that that was not true. I was taught in the academy if I say stop or put your hands behind your back, you had to do so. I didn't know about basic rights. I didn't know about that you had to write to, hey, tell me to kick rocks it's if, I did, if I did not suspect that you were committing or about to commit or have committed a crime. I didn't know about that. They, they don't teach us that. So this cop is operating in the same mindset. And so now he's going to take things way too far let's let's keep going since we want to play this game sir put your hands behind your back this is my phone put Hello? it down can you tell me what's going on just put your hands behind your back before you end up on the ground i'm trying to drop my, my phone hello are you telling me what this is about you're being detained for a minute Here. really quickly i know some of you guys go I get it. I get it. I know some of you guys don't you want to watch the video through, but there are some things I want to point out in this video because these videos are for education purposes and not entertainment. Right. So watch the movement of the citizen. This 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 man does not make a sudden movement. Nothing that is even going to remotely uh, make the, the deputy think that he's being threatened in any way. This is just an arrogant deputy on the highest level who thinks he is above the law and therefore he's going to take things into his own hands and do whatever he wants to do so watch the movement the only thing that the citizen is going to do is slightly turn to ask why am i being detained as he's already doing he's not pulling away he's not jerking he's not doing any of these things right so watch the movement and then we're going to listen to what's stated afterwards. The narrative is going to be built and reconstructed. Imagine the description of someone trying to break into people's cars. Um, I'm not breaking anyone's car. There we have it. Now, at this point, I am going to continue to pause the video a little bit. Just watch the video to the end. You'll see why. Um, the screaming, this guy is in pain. And he is screaming at a level where the YouTube bots, they, uh, if, you, if you have a channel, you know how this works. You know that <clears throat> any violence um, or screaming or anything that someone's in pain or any type of anything like that, YouTube has a tendency to block those videos, at least on my channel. So I'm going to try to lower that volume. So if the volume's lower and you listen to it, that's the reason why. But as I just stated, this guy made no sudden movement. He just turn to ask the question why did you know why are you detaining me and this is the result 
Professionalism. Oh, oh my God! I just go to work. They don't know where we are. Help me! I just go to work. Yeah, that. Yeah. I just go to work. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm getting picked up from work. Please. Nine twenty. Listen to how they talk to him. Shut the F up. You dumb bastard. Shut the F up. Get up. And they snatch him up. You know, after he just like turned into the Undertaker and did this Stone Cold Steve Austin belly to back suplex on the concrete on the on the pavement, he could have head trauma, uh, injuries to his neck, his spine. But yet you just jerk him up, gank him up like that, which could, which could cause further injury. They have no cares. Ow! Ow! Shut the fuck up, dude. Get up. Ow! We're 95, one Ow! Ow! I'm going to work. I don't know what this is for. Please help. Mail backpack, right? Yep. Please, I'm going to work. Where are you? I'm going to work. Are you on camera breaking in the car? No, I, I just came right down to hell. I bet you are. He lives right up there. What did I do wrong? Hey, 348. Please, I just came from work. Well, you're under you're under arrest for obstruction, at least. How? I literally. Now, I was told when I was a police officer, if you put your hands on them, you must commit. And what that means is this. If I touch you and you're not the guy that I'm supposed to be touching, I better arrest you for something. Why? To cover myself. But it doesn't take a rocket scientist. It doesn't take a genius to know that, hey, that, that doesn't add up. That two plus two does not come out to four. A child has enough common sense to know that that's just not right. And this is one of the many things that I've really had a problem with because I couldn't operate like that. So what you're watching is this. They're not sure if this is the guy, but since they have already, you know, had WrestleMania with this citizen in the middle of the road. Now we have to arrest him for something. Now you're going to slowly start to hear the narrative um, is going to be constructed in their favor, but it's not going to add up on the video. Just you didn't want to. You didn't want to fucking listen. Put your hands behind your back. That's simple. Then I told you you're gonna end up on the ground. You still I, didn't do that. I was Then your ass to. ended up on the ground, didn't I, it? I wasn't trying to. You wasn't trying to. I wasn't How old are you? To please. How old are you? I'm 29. You're older than me. Act like a fucking man. I'm just trying to get to work. I'm seriously not trying to do anything, please. <laughs> It's just too big. No, that's fine. I got to take it out of your pocket, though. I'm just trying to All get right, to hey, work. Hey, just, just, just Please. Do me a favor. Just relax for a second. I'm just to Poor guy's well, begging. Say, put your hands behind your back. You do it. And then we explain. I don't know what I did wrong. So the poor guy's begging, all right? And as he's begging, hey, I'm just trying to go to work. Um... This guy, this deputy states, hey, when cops tell you to put your hands behind your back, you just do it. There goes that mentality. If we say it, you just do it. And then we may explain. So this is the mindset. 95% of officers on the departments walk around with this mindset every single day. I was trying to explain to you, but you wanted to keep pulling away. So now you're under arrest for obstruction. I yep. Nope, I told you multiple times. All you had to do was listen. But no, you wanted to be a child, try to pull away. Zero. That's your fault. No, come on. I, I just, no, you're under arrest. No. Yeah. Really? Car parts. 
I got my other headphone in my ear. Please come on. I'm just trying to get my life back together. Oh. Sorry, the first name is Chris, it's not Chris. Can you please call my dad, please? How old are you, 29? I'm yes. not calling your dad. What? I'm not calling your dad, you're 29. You're older than me, I ain't no, calling. No, come on, please. I'm just trying to get to work. I you can go in the back of my car. Come on. He needs to be, be checked. I'm really just trying to get to work. Yeah, are they on the way or? No, not yet. I'll call them. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to work. Wait, hold on. 0-5, 0-5, man. I thought it did. Please, I'm just trying to get to work. I forgot the date of birth. I was just trying to confirm the first name is Chris and not Christopher, but that's okay. I got it to come back. 1066. Ow! That's all you. So we're running Chris East, 9 5 of 89, returns Christopher Lee East out of Dallas, Cross the regular valid. That subject is shown possibly 99 out of holding reference to probation violation on a 109 charge. Now, you heard the dispatcher say that this subject, referring to the uh, citizen that was just body slammed in the middle of the road, this subject is possibly 99. What that means is this individual there stating he may have a warrant uh, due to some type of uh, um, probation violation. But it's not confirmed. I said, put your hands on your back, being detained. What'd he say? What? No. What is this about? And I was like, dude, I'll explain it in just a minute. Hey, Paul, we're 10 4. Uh, go on, start Metro. For my 95. And the arrogance level of this officer is 80 to 90 percent of all police officers on the department. You see it all the time. All the time. Now, when they stated start Metro, that's just an ambulance. You're going to see the fire department. They're going to pull up, um, and they say that uh, start Metro for um, my 95, which is my arrestee, the person I just arrested. You got a light on you? Uh, you are. No, we're no. Clear on Evansville and Camry Circle, down 20. Eight eight three forty eight. I mean, ho I mean, hopefully this is the guy. At this point. I know. I mean. I mean, hopefully this is a guy, you know, we just, you know, conducted SummerSlam in the middle of the road, right? WrestleMania. And we just threw the innocent man on his head. But now that we've done all of that without any evidence, now we hope that this may be the guy. Because if it's not, then, oh, what will happen then? We 25. I saw the blue lights. I'm like, where is he? So I'm like, alright, let me just pull up and see. Maybe he's, maybe he took off running or something. I'm, yeah. I'll just see legs. Up. <laughs> Son of a. I just go 920 shows 10. I tried keying it up. It wouldn't go out. I was like, fuck it, dude. Because he, he started walking that way. I was like, no, no. Yeah. All right, again, I know I'm talking a little bit on this video, but it's, again, these videos are for education, not entertainment, right? So you hear this is what they're doing. They're changing the narrative. They're building their case. Understand when you're dealing with police officers, they're going to be building their case from the start. So now that they're, he knows very well that his camera is on. They know they're being recorded. So therefore, they're making their statements right now. And so when you hear the partner say it, I pulled up. I didn't see you. The lights were going, going, you know, flashing blue. I thought you ran over. But then I saw two legs go up, referring to the citizen. And then I said, I called dispatch. Hey, my partner is um, 10 10. That's in a fight. 10 10 is code for a fight. So my partner is fighting. No, his partner was not fighting. His partner was battering and assaulting 
an innocent civilian is what was happening. But yet, they're building their case to state, hey, this guy was pulling away. I told you to come over here. You pulled away. So, therefore, we got into a fight. No, he was innocently walking to work, unaware of why you're stopping him. And then he turned to ask you a question and you body slammed him. That's the truth. <laughs> Male backpack, right? Dark clothing? Yeah. I mean, it matches to a T. <coughs> I'm willing to bet he's on camera. Just want to make sure it's him. Because he didn't really have... I'm gonna say I can, uh, I can go up to that address. Yeah, just, just in case he, no, fair, he hit his head pretty good. Fair. Oh. Gloves. Tools. Mask. What's my elbow? Alright, you all right. A little road rash. Oh no, I, don't, I can't tell. Maybe a little something on that? No, just right here. I shaved. Oh, okay. Hey, look, My nose good? No. Yeah, no, you're good. He's searching for, as you're going to hear, hear him say later, boo-boos on himself so that he can justify that he was actually in a fight versus beating the crap out of a citizen. Addresses? This is how we're going to start the day off, huh? Friday, it's not even. Friday, it's six thirteen. <laughs> I didn't stretch before any of this shit, man. <laughs> I just saw legs go up. I'm like, oh, I mean, we're. <laughs> I didn't fall in ten ten. And this is funny to them. That's him. That's his. I don't think he ever made it into a into a car, did he? Uh. These are the questions you ask before you body slam someone on the ground. Well, did he ever, you know, get into a car? This is what you do before all of this, not after. He was that we trying. know of. Yeah, he, yeah. Was he was trying. So, if it is him. He had criminal attempt all day. Yeah, criminal attempt. I was like. They said negative charges. Did you see him trying to get into a car? I was going to address that later. No fair. Ridiculous. This is where he lives. Evans Mill. Maybe he's trying to scam his fucking. So they found some mail in his bag, and now they they're confirming. Hey, well, this is where he lives. This is the address in this area, so we know he lives here. Uh, uh, look at the warrior on his face now. Maybe this might not be the guy we were looking for after all. Maybe we should have tried investigating first, some investigative skills, but they don't teach us that. Yeah. Okay. He has a lot of water, so yeah, he must be guilty. Here's your glove. Hmm. 
mix iron. All you do is take his backpack off, turn around, put his hand behind his back. We wouldn't have played this game. Again, there is a mentality. All you had to do is take off your backpack, which he... Just rewind the video, guys. Rewind and go back and look at it again. His backpack did come off. He did turn around. One of his hands was behind his back. He just simply turned to ask a question. Now, what he stated that the citizen should have done to avoid everything, the citizen actually did. But in reality, the truth of the matter is this. The citizen didn't have to do those things right you don't have the right guy hey <laughs> you just pulled up and just grabbed the first person that you saw and then you went hands-on excessive force p1 gets it off of scanning what is it p1 oh okay <laughs> right? <laughs> My wife likes to leave her car on. I don't think he actually got into a car. Um, yeah, I dropped him on his head right there. Oh, okay, cool. I got boo boos too. And as I stated earlier, it was stated to me that if you put your hands on him, you must commit, which means cover your own trail, right? So that's exactly what happened with the Paulding County Sheriff's Office located in the state of Georgia. They body slam a guy in the middle of the road who's simply just walking to work minding his own business find out later he is not the guy they're looking for but yet they they charge him still with obstruction and from this interaction the citizen uh received a seventy-five thousand dollar medical bill he does have an attorney and they are filing a civil rights lawsuit and i will look for this and try and keep you updated on the outcome of this but i just want you guys to know this is paulding county georgia sheriff's office if you would like to tell them how proud you are of the way their deputies conducted themselves the information will be down below make sure you always know your rights and when your rights are stepped on like this make sure you don't take this sitting down you take them in the courtroom and you do with them what we all should do and that's sue the piss out of them go for their pensions with that being said we the people university signing off Thank you for joining We The People University. If you have a video you would like us to share, please click the link in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so that you may be notified when we publish future videos. Also, don't forget to download Cancel Tyranny version 2 and learn your basic rights when there is no time to Google. Available now on Apple and Android. And if you ever wondered about what really happens behind the scenes within the police department, check out my other channel titled Cop Tales 236 to hear all of my stories about my time and experience while working as a cop. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you for your support.